Sierra Space is one step closer to bringing a winged spacecraft back to the International Space Station. On Thursday, the company joined NASA leadership at the Armstrong Test Facility in Sandusky, Ohio, to show off the Dream Chaser spacecraft now mated to its Shooting Star module. This is truly a historic day. It is a extraordinary day, a day that has been in the making for several years. The cargo vehicle, given the name Tenacity, was brought here from Sierra Space's manufacturing facilities in Colorado late last year. We name our products after these emotional uh, characteristics that get you through the hard times. And, and building Tenacity has been hard. Uh, there's been a lot of things that we have found collectively uh, that didn't always work right the first time. And we learned a lot from it. And that Tenacity has gotten us through the last six years. So there was no other name that was more appropriate than Tenacity for the first vehicle. Tenacity is just the first in a line of Dream Chaser space planes that will be used to bring cargo and science both to and from the International Space Station. The vehicle consists of the reusable space plane and the disposable shooting star module, which was designed to burn up on re-entry. Former NASA astronaut and current Sierra Space Chief Medical Officer Tom Marshburn has been working with some of the crews who will be offloading cargo from the spacecraft in the near future. We got some veterans in there, but for the, the new folks, um, there's a lot of little bits of information. Every, every little molecule of ink in a handheld procedure is important. Uh, every little step is important to being very meticulous about unpacking and packing. Starting in early January, the spacecraft began undergoing shake table testing here at the Mechanical Vibration Facility at Armstrong's Space Environments Complex. A Sierra Space spokesperson says the testing should wrap up in just a few days. The spacecraft will then move on to thermal vacuum testing, where Tenacity will experience the rigors of the on-orbit environment. One of our core competencies at NASA Glenn is the ability to do testing in the extreme environments of, of space and even for aviation. And so this capabilities, the capabilities we have here are unique. They're one of a kind uh, and the expertise that goes with them and our people are, are world class. Dream Chaser is poised to be the payload for the second certification of United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket. In a recent interview with Space Flight Now, ULA CEO Tori Bruno said things are progressing well towards that flight. Rocket is built, upper stage is built. Uh, the engines that will go on it and power it are now out in Texas to go on the test stand. So once they come through, then we can finish it and we'll be ready to go. And then we'll, you know, we'll be waiting on our payload, which is the way we like it. And so I think we'll be ready for that one too. Dream Chaser will join SpaceX's Cargo Dragon and Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft in bringing supplies both to and from the space station as part of NASA's Commercial Resupply Services 2 contracts. Marshburn says that not only will Dream Chaser add new capabilities to transport cargo to the station and remove trash from it, but it also gives the crew on board a new source of fun. They'll be packing it tight. There's all kinds of competition as to how dense can you get the everything packed in there. And so, uh, yeah, that'll... And I'll, I'll add the unique shape of the Dream Chaser translates into a very unique internal shape. Uh, seeing crews get in there, get inside to train in a mock-up of this, uh, eyes fly open. You go, this is incredible how long it is, how big it is. Dream Chaser is set to fly for the first time sometime later this year. Reporting from Sandusky, Ohio, I'm Will Robinson-Smith for Space Flight Now.